another day another review welcome back to reviews and reels and today we are joined inside the new and launched suzuki fronks right so before we get into the review please don't forget to subscribe and share the channel with your friends and family right okay cool heading into the review quick facts about the vehicle this vehicle is a 1.5 liter pitched engine and this engine is also found in the Balino and the Grand Vitara the new Grand Vitara right um, it produces 77 kilowatts and 138 Nm of torque 5 speed manual 4 cylinder and it is priced from 279,900 that is the starting price of the Suzuki Fronks, right? That is that is the, the, the starting price. So heading into the interior of the vehicle, interior of the vehicle. Start, today we're starting with the interior, then the exterior. So the interior of the vehicle, you made by the Suzuki um, steering wheel. It's not really leather wrapped, but yeah, it has controls on the left, controls on the right. Controls on the right is um, for cruise control. And then on the left is for your infotainment. Um, screen right so we have a analog cluster and yeah it shows you fuel gauge speed range etc etc here in the middle and then it is a keyless entry push to start and yeah so heading into the infotainment system it is a seven inch touch screen with apple carplay android auto and bluetooth connectivity Understand, and it also has a 360 degree camera. Like, once you start the car, it looks at the surrounds of the vehicle to make sure that you are parked correctly and exiting where you parked is quite safe. Understand, so that is like the infotainment system. Sound system in here is actually not too bad, it's quite good, quite good, but not too good. But it's quite good. Um, I did say it's a five speed manual. Uh, one thing I do, one thing I did realize about the, this five speed manual is once you get to 100 and you're in gear 5 it actually kind of winds a bit but it's not too bad it's not too bad it's, it's just you know road noise is manageable you understand the seats of the vehicle are two-toned two-toned is black and burgundy yeah it is black and burgundy that is the interior of the vehicle, black and burgundy. And then, yeah, comfortability is not too. It's it's quite comfortable, you know. You, it's it, it's okay. Long distance. Would I do long distance in the vehicle? Yeah, I guess I would do long distance in the vehicle. You understand? And then, the space in the space in the car is also. It is quite spacious. It might look small from the outside. But it is quite spacious, I cannot lie. So yeah. Heading into the exterior of the vehicle, let's start with the front. The front of the vehicle has daytime running LED headlights and LED headlights at the bottom of the vehicle, right? So that is also that is quite beautiful. That is a Suzuki badging at the front with a front camera. Yes, this car it is equipped with a front camera. And yeah, the grill is quite nice. The, the, the look of the vehicle in the front is actually quite beautiful. I can't lie to you. Then from the side of the vehicle, it looks like a mini SUV because it is a, a compact SUV. It is the bigger brother of the Balino and the Yanka. It's like the middle child of the Balino and the Grand Vitara because it is actually in the middle. Also pricing wise, it's in the, it's in the beginning. It's in the middle. My bad. It's in the middle. So that is how it is and then from the back it has like a, a beautiful light bar It also has reverse camera, reverse sensors So yeah, that is that is that from the vehicle That is the exterior look of the vehicle Now fuel consumption is claimed 5.5 liters 100 kilometers in the 5 speed manual And we've been averaging a young 6.2 been averaging a young 6.2 liters oh, yeah 6.2 liters 100 kilometers so it is not that bad not that bad not that bad uh do i enjoy the car did i enjoy the car the, in the period that i had the vehicle yes i did enjoy the car i cannot lie um 
what are the things that I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. So what I do like about the vehicle um, is the look of the vehicle and the exterior, the inside, the exterior and uh, uh, exterior. I like the vehicle. Um, I like the drive of the vehicle. It is actually quite smooth. Um, what else? Yeah, like there's quite a lot of things that I do like about the vehicle. Um, Gears don't lag, that's a great thing. Gears don't lag, so that is awesome. And then I want to speak about recommendation, buying and considering, right? So would I consider the vehicle? Uh, yeah, I'll consider the vehicle. I'll consider the vehicle. Would I buy the vehicle? Uh, as I said, I'll consider the vehicle, you understand? Uh, would I recommend it and who would I recommend it to? I recommend the vehicle and I would recommend it to the, the middle class like maybe you know uh, maybe you just started working maybe three years working now you know you want to feel efficient car this is a car and you want Apple CarPlay and you know so maybe you're just a, a mom a young mom you know and you want something that will get you from point A to B with space you understand then I recommend you get the Suzuki Fronks because it has everything that is equipped with what you need like Apple CarPlay um, you could opt for the 4-speed manual or the 5-speed manual so it is totally up to you what do you would prefer on uh, not getting understand so um, yeah that is the, the review and I did say the interior of the vehicle has a uh, two-toed it has burgundy and black and plastic around through the dash so um, overall car, overall of the of the vehicle I would give it a, a 7.5 Suzuki did a good job I mean middle child of the Suzuki um, Vitara Reza oh not the Reza the Grand Vitara and the older brother of the Suzuki Alino so um, shout out to, to Suzuki um, I really enjoyed the vehicle um, I wish I had a longer on test but you know I yeah it was, it was quite good so 7.5 out of out of 10 for the vehicle and the drive quality is also good so yeah I couldn't complain can't complain so we have come to the end of the review come to the end of the review so don't forget to subscribe like and share the channel with your friends and family and stay tuned for more content coming soon this year road to 1k subscribers so do share with your friends and family schoolmates you know <laughs> just so we can get to 1k subscribers and then i did say once you get to 1k subscribers would get a, a special episode so keep it locked